welcome to this video where i show you how i relax my hair at home after a six month stretch so if you're interested in knowing how you can get your hair looking like this after you've gone for a period of time without relaxing your hair then definitely want to keep on watching and subscribe for more hey guys thanks for clicking on this video once again this is how the hair is looking and this is how much new growth we have gotten i really want to believe that i relaxed my hair in the last six months but frankly speaking i cannot remember the last time but i want to believe that i relaxed my hair this year and the first thing that you want to do is to comb your hair you want to ensure that your hair is tangle free as you can tell the girl was not enjoying this process because it has been a hassle combing this hair in the state and this was the moment i knew that i had to go relax my hair because i cannot be fighting war when i want to comb my hair and put it together especially when we are entering the dry season here in nigeria i want to ensure that your hair is in the best state and i'm trying to just show you guys how much new goods i have gotten so this is me getting a strand and you can see from this part that the part that is a little bit straighter is the part that is still relaxed but part that's like folding up is still the one that has new goods so this is the relaxer i'm making use of this is the ors relaxer and it's one of the best out there these are all the content that we have in here it comes in a kit so if you're in lagos nigeria and want to get it just tell them you want ors and tell them you want the kits yeah not actual one because sometimes they sell it individually but tell them you want the kit and these are the things that you have inside here that's my personal scissors and that thing i like about this relaxer is that on the body when you cut it open it has its own manual so in case you are a beginner at this you are not left alone it has everything that you need to put yourself through to relaxing your hair by yourself so you see me smiling and laughing and giggling i'm watching young sheldon because i can't bring this process without looking for a comfort show to watch so i'm watching young sheldon and i just wore my hand gloves because she's not to be doing this with your bare hands you want to ensure that you have your gloves worn and secure properly i had very long nails so i was very careful while doing this video so that my nose did not tear the gloves that we have on so after i wear my nylon why am i calling it now after i wear my gloves properly it's time to open up the actual relaxer so that's the actual relaxer kit and the first thing you need to do is ensure that you open this thing without spilling it over i was struggling clearly i don't have enough arm strength and after opening this part you want to mix it with this activator so you pour everything in and then you begin to mix until you have a very very smooth consistency this part is very very important because you want to ensure that the activator has properly been mixed with the relaxer so that it has it has spread evenly so that one part is not void of the activator and your head does not look like what you don't to look like so that's what you will have to go for so that it's very very smooth and lump free and next you want to partition your head to different sections some people don't like doing this but i don't really see the point of why you cannot do that you can see that i was really struggling to partition my hair with that tiny comb i had to go for a big one so partition my hair into sections you can do yours in three you can do yours in four sections you can do yours in eight depends on what works for you exactly so after partitioning it into two then i want to comb it because i want to ensure that my hair is tangle free i do not want it to be at the end that i'll not see that i have tangles on my hair so ensuring that your hair is tangle free is the key part of this and to divide my hair into that section i'm going for my ear because my ear is basically at the center so using your ear as a guide is uh, is a beginner way of ensuring that you are patting through the center of your head for this stage you do not have to be so particular about it being so equal just ensure that you have sections on your hair and i ended up going with my butterfly clips to clip them you can just put yours in a tiny twist or in a tiny braid whichever one works for you that's if you don't have the butterfly clips you can also use the rubber band yeah as long as you don't use that rubber band for any other thing and this is me sipping my rabina because i was tired i was genuinely tired i've not even started my journey yet so after securing my strength with ribina i had to go back and begin my journey 
so here we start the actual relaxing of the hair so you can see that i'm using the spatula that came with the kit to just slightly apply it on my hair i realized that i shouldn't have started with my front hair i don't know why that skipped my mind while editing this video it occurred to me that girl why did you start with your front hair because you do not start your front hair because this relaxers yeah they don't waste time you like they start processing immediately your front hair is very very is very very fragile i got lucky trust me i got lucky so you want to start from the inner part like where i'm applying right now i want to start with the inner part and then when you are about to wrap up your relaxing process then you can now apply it on the front and the like outer part of your that is behind your ear your nape and the front of your hair where you have your edges here yeah? so do not be like me because you may not be lucky you can, may end up seeing that your front hair is fried and starts falling off okay so you really do not want to do that if you are someone that you have noticed that your front hair or like if any relaxer like gets onto your skin it tends to burn you before you go in with your relaxer you might want to go in with a bit of um, vaseline or shea butter or coconut oil to just apply it around the perimeter of your head just from your forehead around your forehead your ear to your other ear then behind your ear and generously on your ear because it could get on your ear as well and behind your neck as well so my skin is a bit tough but honestly if you're a beginner you don't want to play with that because it can actually burn because it's a chemical do you get so you just have to apply this only to your new growth i don't know why i skipped this you want to start applying your relaxer to your new growth only you can see that i'm doing my best to just keep it to the area so that like, before you start relaxing you need to note how much new growth you have um you have acquired in the space of your stretch so you know earlier that i showed you guys how much hair growth how much new growth i had gotten so i basically had an idea of how much growth i have gotten in the past month so that's why i was using as a guide while applying the relaxer for the first phase so you want to ensure that you're managing it because you do not want to start with so much and then when you're about wrapping up you now see that you do not have enough to go around your hair so this is me just ensuring that i'm covering a section and let me give you guys like a little tip that i use each time is that i try to separate my hair with my finger in a way that i can see i mean the parts that i can see sha i can see the relaxer from the other end like when i flip my hair i can see too so i'm going in with like the thinnest sections as possible so i'm not just applying i'm not, I'm not just dividing my hair into like big big chunks i'm doing it with okay when i like cut or part my hair to a small section i can see the relaxer from the other end so that no part is left and whilst editing this or whilst like i mean after getting this whole thing done i realized that, i mean after was that i didn't pay so much attention to the middle of my hair so you want to learn from that mistake want to ensure that okay you do not forget the center of your hair if you have others um mirrors they have an amazon that you can place them and be able to see the back of your head it's very very lovely or you have like a big mirror that can place behind you and one in front of you it's very very lovely because i did not have that and i did not end up putting as much relaxer that i wish i had put on the center of my hair so right now i'm just going back to applying relaxer over and over because at this point i realized that i had more than enough to go on someone else's head literally like it was so much that i had to just go back with it i'm like oh my god what am i going to do with this guy so i just had to keep applying it and applying it and applying it until I was done with it and you can see that at this point here the middle of my hair did not have so much relaxer i don't know if you can see it from this point so i don't know why i didn't take notice of that and you can see that this part now i already applied relaxer before on this part but it is like as if like as if the relaxer it is like as if my hair already sucked up the relaxer i don't know if that even makes sense but i just know that my hair was not looking like i applied relaxer on some part that i already applied relaxer onto so that's when okay i actually have to finish this relaxer you can see me using this spatula to just ensure that i spread it out even that it enters the hair like it really needs to enter the hair because this hair 
was really really due for relaxing and i'm using this spatula as a guide to just apply it onto my front hair so that i don't have so much relaxer on that part because it does not really need so much relaxing if i'm being very honest and i'm applying this to ensure that i'm applying the relaxer in areas that i think i might have missed but after all this i still miss the middle of my head but it is well so this is just a very much repetitive process just apply massage apply massage and just keep doing it until your relaxer is done so at this junction i'm gonna keep quiet and let you guys enjoy the process visually okay So at this point, the girl has finished her relaxer and you can see that there's an actual difference now. Like my hair is looking like this relaxer because I had to put the entire relaxer on it. And this is how the hair is looking like with relaxer all over it. This is the entire container, the entire bucket that we had. I had finished everything and you can see that my hair, without anyone telling you, is really looking like it's relaxed. And this is the girl just ensuring that she has as little relaxer on the front of her head as possible. And I'm just massaging my hair because you really want to massage your hair to ensure that the relaxer enters your hair. If that may, I don't know how to really explain it, but so that the, it actually gets into your hair to do the work on the new growth that you have gotten, basically. So at this junction, I'm going to just enter the bathroom and wash off the relaxer from my hair you want to go in with the things that came in with your kits you want to get rid of your gloves and then get into the shower wow i'm out of the shower there's one good thing about getting your hair sorted it just it just feels like you have less things to actually worry about <sighs> yeah i can actually breathe now so i want to quickly go in to blow dry my hair so I'm just quickly plug in. I'm using this ancient blow dryer that I think my mom, yeah, definitely my mom. I'm going to my sister. My star left it for me, so I'm going to give it to my children. Okay, so I'm just going to plug this in. So right before I start to blow dry my hair, these are the things I used in the bathroom. I don't know. I didn't prepare for filming in the bathroom today, so yikes. So I made use of this as the shampoo. Oops, this is the shampoo. Yeah, so two of this. Yeah and if you can see pink it's because of um to show that relaxer is still in your hair it kind of like turns to pink instead of normal clear white shampoo so apparently i couldn't see the look of my head properly so after doing that then this is the replenishing pack that serves as conditioner so it's supposed to help to increase moisture and repair damaged hair not my hair but like i don't know so i've been seeing a lot of like content on like relaxed hair and something just said me goodness cut your hair cut your hair i'm not like not if i have like split ends because i'm in mood to do some cutting 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 i got my scissors just in case uh okay now that we are done with our hair the next thing that we need to do according to our instruction here below because i haven't done this since like I actually cannot remember last time I relaxed my hair, but I want to believe I have relaxed my hair this year because why is it looking like it's a new a new routine for me? So the next thing to do before blow drying your hair, you have to use this guy to protect your hair from heat and add shine and soften your hair. So I'm just going to cut this quickly. Okay, because of my hair is quite full, I like to think it's quite full, so I'm going to just part this into four sections oh my god i can't remember the last time i was able to part my hair without crying for help let me show you guys see see this comb my hair did this to this comb and that's when i knew that i had to relax my hair yo because i could not be fighting world war when i want to comb my hair just part this into four so that i can add that to every section of the hair my hair feels so light and i like it my ear okay so i just worked with three so just put in this
for something that is so important it's very little in quantity because how has this finished already nigeria and me is trying to cut this thing halfway to get every bit of it out because how could this be sufficient for a head full of hair so going back with this guy to just comb it out let's just let's just start blow drying this hair okay so in blow drying my hair once again i'm going in with my comb because i don't like dealing with tangled pieces when i'm getting my hair done and i put my hair in section i'm going with this hair dryer because i want to do it bit by bit so you want to section your hair out however you feel would work for you if you want to put your hair in twos or in threes however i want to do it just ensure that you're going with you're going in with a comb i like to use a small size comb so that as i'm brushing it down it's literally capturing every strand of hair because you're going with a white tooth comb some hairs can like not get affected if that makes sense so once you get a very medium sized tooth comb to ensure that the heat of the blow dryer is being affected and you can see that my hair is getting drier from being damp so this is a very long process you know like i don't know how i've survived this thing without watching young children because it looked like the hair didn't want to get dry but i have to keep going over some certain parts like over and over and over again so now i'm done with that left hand side and now i'm going over to the right hand side of my head and i was actually getting impressed that whilst i was combing i wasn't like getting any breakout or any fallout whatsoever because i was expecting my hair to like to be uh, be breaking and everything but like it was not really breaking and i was very glad with the texture and how silk it was really looking and it was looking very healthy so i was very grateful for that so now going to the top of my hair and the girl was tired at this point i'm like can this be over already but we had to finish what we started so i was going in section by section even though i was at the top of my head i was taking my time to ensure that each part was properly blow dried before i went to that part because you do not to rush this for you to get a very perfect job done you do not want to rush this part at all okay so this is not really my favorite thing to do i have been impressed so far like there's not been an actual sign of breakage and i've been trying to look ahead for like any split end but so far so good i'm actually very shocked guys because i'm not the most careful person with my hair but like it's looking very full and like has volume to it like for a relaxed hair this has volume trust me i'm going to go ahead and do this many parts you can see it's still a bit down so this is the before this is the after and my hair is reaching here now yay so let me just go and do this side okay and the reason why i changed from this to this is because this can cover more ground than this and like i said i don't have all time in the world to do this thing so yeah so you can go in with this you guys in like smaller sections this i don't i've had this in like i was little like it looks very rusty so just go in strand by strand but this can cover like more ground you can see more ground but there's some that you can actually change the head but uh, yeah let me just continue it okay so finally i'm done yo it's it doesn't mean a long afternoon <laughs> i can't believe that i have been depriving myself of this kind of relief for how many months like see the volume we're talking about here guys and no split ends everything still looking very equal and um, yeah um i'm happy my front hair did not bond even though i didn't really take any precaution but we are we are actually good and this is this is how full my hair is I'm just going to it out for you all to see. To show you that you can have long, healthy, relaxed hair. It does not have to look all chunked up or having split ends or whatever those things are. But like this is what mine is looking like right now. So thank you guys for watching. I'm just going to pack this up because I want it out of my way. Wow. I can't record last time my hair could pack this easily. Yeah, this is this is amazing.
right now i'm just going to go ahead to get my silk press equipment ready i'm going to go ahead and get myself ready for a silk press i haven't done that before myself ever so if you're interested in seeing how that's going to turn out on my hair do well to click this video here i am also going to leave a link to it below in the description box so i'm going to eat and i'll see you guys in that video okay <laughs> 